Hello, beautiful people on YouTube. In this video, I will be showing you a brand new Amazon product research strategy using keywords. Let's dive inside of my computer to get started. Hello everyone, today we will be using Helium 10 Black Box Amazon Product Research keywords right here to look for products to sell on Amazon FBA. Now if you guys do not have Helium 10 yet, I highly recommend you to download this software tool because it is the number one best Amazon tool to become successful in your Amazon FBA business. You can get 50% off this tool by using my code right here, and I will also link it in the YouTube description below. So I am logged into Helium 10. I went under tools, and then I went to product research black box right here. Click on this guy, and you will end up on this page, but we are going to use keywords. So I don't think I've ever done a demo using keywords, so let's get to it today. So the first thing we want to enter here is search volume. What is search volume? So search volume is the estimated number of searches from the previous 30 days. So this means I am entering the number of searches per month for a keyword. So let's just use the example 5,000 to 75,000. So this means I am looking for products that are searched between 5,000 and 75,000 per month. I think this is a good starting point. For monthly revenue, you want at least $10,000 and up to $50,000. Now I am being more lenient here when I am entering these numbers because I want to show you guys a big variety of products. The more narrow your numbers are, the harder it is to find products. The price, let's put $12 and maximum 25. Review count, how many reviews do I want to see from these products? I want at least five reviews and a maximum of 1,000 reviews. Just a little note on reviews, a lot of products have a lot of reviews now. If you are trying to find a product that has under 200 reviews, that's just very unlikely that that will happen because a lot of the good products have a lot of reviews. Customers are raving about specific products, so they leave reviews. So I just left it at 1,000. Review rating, I will put 2.5 to 5. And shipping size tier, I want to select small, and large. So if you guys have watched any of my previous Amazon product research videos, then you know that I do not like to sell oversized products. Why? Because Amazon FBA fees will be a lot higher. And especially if you are a beginner, you want to sell something that is standard size. It's just lighter, cheaper, and it will just provide you with a better experience overall. So as you can see, there are many other options right here. All I did was select advanced filters and you can filter out other options right here. Now, I'm not going to take the time to do this because this is a YouTube video and I know you guys want to get straight to the point, but one thing I do want to do is go to categories and select one category. If you select all categories, it's going to be very messy for you to find products. So just select one category. My favorite category is toys and games. This is the category that I use to sell in so I'm just going to click on search and then now all of the products within this criteria will pop up so again this is a really good starting point for beginners if you guys are in my online course called winners ecom workshop then you already have my winning product criteria it is totally different than what I am showing you right here because you guys have the secret sauce by the way I am taking applications for new students if you guys want to apply then make sure you get my free training in the YouTube description below. Click on the free training link, enter your name, enter your email address, watch my training to the very end because you get to apply for a free one-on-one -on -one call with my team and we will guide you through this entire process, give you the secret sauce so you can find winning products to sell on Amazon. Okay, so going back down here, there are over 200 products found based on my criteria above. Now, honestly, I find that there is still an overwhelming number of products. Um, if I go all the way down, 
there are over 10 pages. So there's a lot of products and this is where people get overwhelmed, but do not be overwhelmed. Let me show you how to narrow it down. So I'm just going to quickly look at these products and just see if it is a good fit. This is Monster Jam Birthday Party Supplies. I already know that this is a bad product. How do I know that? Well, I've been selling for many years now and party supplies is an oversaturated niche. It really depends on what type of party supplies, but majority of the party supplies are oversaturated. Jigsaw puzzles, this is gated, so we don't want to sell that. Biodegradable confetti. Okay, so I think I talked about confetti in a different YouTube video that I did in the past. If you want to watch that product research tutorial, then I am talking about this YouTube video right here. Okay, so I actually like this product because when I was doing that video, um, I found really good numbers when I was looking up confetti. So this is biodegradable confetti. So all I want to do is go to the three dots right here on the right hand side and view on Amazon. So it will take me straight to Amazon's website. And this is the first page with all of the biodegradable confetti. So if I look over here, if I just scroll down, it is a lot of information. So I don't even look at this. All I do is pull up my Helium 10 Chrome extension. You guys need to install the Helium 10 Chrome extension to use X-Ray, Amazon Product Research. And what I want to do is just look at the numbers to see if there is a chance that I can come in here and sell my version of the product. Now, I already did previous research on this product, so I know it is a pretty good product, but I am not telling you to sell this product for yourself because there are so many eyeballs on this YouTube video right now, and a lot of you guys are probably thinking about selling this product, so don't do it. I am just using it um, as a demonstration, but this is a good product. Why is it a good product? Well, that is because there is so much room for differentiation. So I'm sure you guys have heard myself and other YouTubers talk about differentiation, differentiation, differentiation when you are selling on Amazon FBA. And that is one of the most important factors because if your product looks the same as everyone else, then guess what? It is very hard for a customer to buy your product. So all I did just now was remove some sponsored brands so it does not confuse me in the revenue section right here. So what I want to look for is a product that sells year round. So this product, yes, it does sell year round. How do I know that? Well, I am just quickly eyeballing the sales graph right here. If you look closely, the sales graph should be up and down, up and down, because that will tell you that this product is selling naturally. What you do not want to see is a huge decline. So this one right here, um, you can see that it's declining, but that does not mean that all confetti products are bad. This could be the one off that is not getting as much sales compared to before. If we look at the big picture here, um, sort the revenue from big to small. So I already did that by clicking on this. I can see that most of the confetti products are naturally selling. It's very up and down, up and down. Now I see that a lot of people here are making really good money. I'm looking at the very first page and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight sellers that are making at least $10,000 in revenue and above. And to me, that is a really good starting point. Why? Because if I take out my calculator here and let's just take the average, the average of the top eight, I think is about, I'm going to say like 30,000. So if the average seller is making $30,000 in revenue, multiply that by 30%. Most Amazon sellers that know what they are doing have a profit margin of at least 30%, 25 to 30%. And if I multiply that, that means that on average, you can expect to bring home $9,000 in profit every single month. That is obviously amazing. And I know a lot of you guys are aiming for this goal. So I already like this product. The next thing to check out for is profitability. So you guys may have seen this in my previous YouTube videos. I cannot stress it enough. So if I choose a product, let's, uh, let's choose this one. Actually, this is floral multicolor confetti. Now, if I have my Helium 10 Chrome extension installed, I just click on the three dots right here and click on estimate profitability. You have to get all of this information from your supplier and then enter it in here. So manufacturing cost, that's obviously from your supplier on Alibaba if you are finding a supplier on Alibaba. Freight cost, that's from your freight forwarder. 
and make sure that you know the price that you want to list it at, the dimensions of your product, you get it from your supplier. And then after all said is done, it will tell you your profit margin percent. So right here, it tells me that this profit margin is 37%, which is absolutely amazing. A lot of my students have profit margin of over 30%, and I suggest you to do so as well, because if you have a profit margin that is too low, then you are not bringing home much money. So if we take out my calculator again, let me give you an example. If I take that 30,000 and let's pretend your profit margin is only 20% and there have been times where my own products were at 20% profit margin, but that was only when I was running a lot of Amazon PPC advertising and doing all these other launches. And if we pretend that the profit margin is 20%, that is a huge drop in monthly net profit. It went from $9,000 to $6,000. So this is why I stress that you should find products with at least 30% profit margin. That's no secret. Every successful Amazon seller knows this. I hope you guys are still with me and still following along because this is what you have to check if you want to find winning products to sell on Amazon. There are so many steps to make sure that you have a good product. Now, the last thing I want to show you is magnet. So if we go back to helium 10, right here, we were looking at a uh, biodegradable confetti. And if, if we go here, the three dots go to run magnet. Now we want to do a keyword search. Why is this important? Well, if we go back up here, the search volume, I randomly put in 5,000 to 75,000 search volume for all of the products that I am interested in looking at. Now I want to break it down even further. I want to look at keywords for my biodegradable confetti to see how often customers are searching for confetti. How often are they typing that keyword into the Amazon search bar up here and looking for this product? Now being an advanced experienced seller, I already know that this product has a lot of demand. It has a good amount of people searching for this product because I already done the research for it and I'm just used to looking at products on Amazon. But let me show you how this works. So I just opened up Magnet and if we go down here, sort the search volume from big to small. Now I do have a secret recipe. I do have a product locator formula that you do have to follow in my paid training if you want to find that golden nugget product. But I do not want to give that out to the public or I might have my students get mad at me. But let me point out a few things without getting too specific. So the first thing I want to do is look for a keyword that contains my product and that is specific. So I'm just going to go to right here, phrases containing. So I want to include the keyword confetti because that's what I am looking to sell. So after I put in confetti, I click on apply filters. This will bring up all of the keywords that have the keyword confetti. So my very first keyword here is confetti cannon and it has 39,000 searches per month, which is really, really good. This is a good amount of search volume. As you can see, if I go back here, that is the average of what I was searching for to begin with. And what you want to check is that people are searching for your product. There will be some keywords that do not make sense. Let's see, like confetti eggs, obviously that does not make sense. So you want to remove it and not include it in your research altogether. But generally speaking, you want to make sure that your products have good demand and has good search volume because if your keyword has a few hundred searches, that is not good. That will be considered a product that is not searched as often. And when customers do not search for your product that often, then guess what? You do not get paid because people are not searching. And if they are not searching, how do they add your product to cart and pay you? They can't. So if you find a product that has the low hundreds, um, I would suggest you to stay away from that product. But I know that this product has a lot of good search volume right here. So I hope this video has helped you today to help you find your winning product using Helium 10 keywords. If you have any questions or comments, then please drop it in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that notification bell on my channel so you can get notified every single time I post a new video. Subscribe to my channel. I will greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.